is Pixelily and welcome back to Angels of Death. Okay, so last we left off, we found out that Rachel was definitely the killer on this floor. We did not know that Danny was the one who insisted she be a resident on this floor. Um, too gray, he insisted that. Uh, Rachel wanted to achieve her own ideal, but since she read the Bible, the Bible would not accept her. Uh, so Rachel wanted to die by Zach's hands, as Danny put it, she wanted to wanted to die innocently by Zach's hands. Um, Rachel pretty much deceived Zach and she needed a god and Zach, as we know, Zach was her god. Um, but then we had, we had to chase Rachel around and she was trying to kill us. But, uh, and Danny was kind of her helper. But yeah, um, Rachel's lie was exposed pretty much and when Danny tried to kill us, Rachel killed Danny. I, they didn't really pronounce him dead because when we checked the body, Zach just kicked him and said he's not going anywhere. So I don't know. Um, so then uh, Rachel and Zach swore an oath to each other that Rachel would kill, uh, I mean, Zach would kill Rachel and Rachel, you know, and Zach promised basically that she that he would. And we also talked to Gray. Um, Rachel, we found out that yeah, Rachel accepts herself now. And we are trying to find a way out. And Gray told us that the way out is actually on floor B2. And we have to check the stained glass windows of the cathedral. But first we have to go get Rachel's handgun that is in the living room. Okay, we're all caught up. Yay. Yeah, that was a long summary. Uh, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay. Okay, why? Oh, I was like, I'm not moving. But yes, I am. Okay, so... And here we go. I knew it! I I said to myself, Ugh, he's gone again. What the F that sneaky jerk? A, a monster, am I? He's the real monster. You both got hit pretty, uh, both got injured. Doctor, shoot. Once we pick up your handgun, then let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't, I don't even want to pick this up. Like, I <laughs> found it, but this won't cut it. You found it, right? What's wrong? The trigger's broken, Danny. Oh, that's not good. It's useless, right? Yeah. Oh, well, then let's get going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of worried. All right. Um, elevator over here, right? Hey, Zach. Huh? Were arrows flying through here? It looks like they didn't activate when you were chasing me. Don't worry. They were flying at me before. Huh? Yeah, probably. It's probably for me. Just, just for Zach, you know? There we go. Hey, don't tell me. The jerk went below. Probably so. F. <laughs> Wish I would have sliced him into two. Oh no. I don't. What? Uh, <laughs> I'm so worried. I'm worried, guys. I don't. <laughs> I'm just worried. You ran into that preacher guy in the basement, right? Yeah. Didn't you say something about saying goodbye or something? Did you? It was really short, but yeah. Is everything over there yours? There's things I've picked up since I came here, too. Oh, then they aren't really yours. Good question. I tried making them mine by sewing and patching them up. But dolls never answer when spoken to, so I don't know if they were really mine. Though I cared about them, so I said goodbye. Hmm. 
Oh, the music box is originally mine. When I was young, I guess it was the last thing they bought for me. I really loved its music. If you want it, then why didn't you just take it with you? Oh. Uh, it had a good melody to it, too. There's no need anymore. All the music and my memories for it are all in my head. As long as I... <laughs> I can't talk. As long as I have that, then I don't need anything else. If that's okay with you, then that works. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. We're almost to the ground floor. Let's move. Okay. Uh. We're back. You're right. Man, this crap's complicated. Alright. So, these... Right? I'm saving. Yeah, probably shouldn't, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I think it's... Oh, it's here, I think. No? Mm -hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary appears to be on the shelf. Um, wait. Aren't... Oh, in the... Wait, 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 wait. I thought those were... Ah, I'm pretty sure he said something about the cathedral stained glass. I thought it was the other windows. Whoops. Okay, so... There's nothing. I guess it's another stained glass window. Oh, am I just gonna... There's nothing. I guess it's another stained glass window. Nothing here. Is it here? This stained glass window in the middle is the biggest. I want to check it, but the origin is somewhat in the way. Zack, you need this organ out of the way, right? Did I say origin? <laughs> I mean organ. Yeah. So let's see what this does. Ugh, darn it. It must weigh a freaking ton. Hey, a little help here. Stop staring and help. Sorry, Zack. Ah. Don't ah and get your butt over here and help me push. You got it. Aw, oh, man. My arm... My arms feel like jello. It sure was heavy. Hey, is there really a way out here? I'm not sure. That reverend, I wouldn't take him for a liar. Yeah, Gray doesn't really lie, it seems. He was nice enough to take me to the floor below, too. Ah, even so. Okay, fine. Let's just give it a look, then. Okay... A keyhole. A keyhole? Yeah, so the way out must be on the other side. But it's locked. No key. Where could it be? Oh, don't tell me Danny has it. Hey, Ray. Zach, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, way ahead of you. Hey, stand back. Oh, I guess we don't really need a key. Doors aren't for opening, they're for smashing. Good job, Zach. Who needs a key? <laughs> and that's how it's done. Yeah, wow. You uh, aren't impressed anymore, I take it. <laughs> Sorry, it's old news. Is it now? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh wait, ah, no, no, wait. Was that, I thought something was shining. Man, these stairs go on forever. You're right. I just remembered. Oh, what is it this time? When I came here, I was blindfolded the whole time. It's vague, but I have memories of going down a really long staircase. Which means these stairs should lead us to the surface in no time. No kidding! It's about darn time. Tell me when we reach the top. Wait, hold on. <laughs> so I can puke. Let's take a breather once we're out. Oh no. <laughs> Let's hurry then. Right behind you. Wait, hold on. 
I wanted to see something really fast. Oh, oh, I can't grab him. Okay, I just, I just, okay, I just thought. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, just. <gasps> what the hell did you fall for? I tripped on the stairs. It hurts. You can't be tired. You slept like a log. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. Congratulations for acting like a normal human human being. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. And watch your step, darn it. Huh? Okay. Oops. Well, this is going swell, I think. Hey, we never did find that Danny jerk. Don't you think we should have found the jerk and finished him off? But I have no clue of his whereabouts. Not only that, he's been a resident of this building for who knows how long. So he no doubt knows this building like the back of his hand. Hanging around here is dangerous. Yeah, that's true. Gosh darn it, looks like I got no choice. Choice. <laughs> Zach? You know how you said earlier in the elevator that you're happy empty-handed? Here, take this. Is this your knife? Are you sure it's okay for me to use it again? It's yours. Huh? There's a chip in it, so I'm not sure it'll be of any use. But it's better than being empty-handed, right? Thanks. Thank you for allowing me to protect myself. <laughs> Besides, once we get out of here, it's in the bag. Let's get going. Yeah. Yeah. Aw. I'm just feeling very, uh, nervous? Huh? What's that? Huh? What? The self-destruct sequence has been initiated. Detonation will commence from the basement levels. Holy cow, my ears. <laughs> Uh, Zach, we gotta get out of here. <gasps> oh shoot, what the hell's happening? What about, the building's going to explode. We gotta escape or the building will collapse. Okay, okay. Uh, oh no, what do we do? The debris. At this rate, we'll end up burned alive or buried in rubble. Zack. Zack? Huh? Zack? Zack, there's debris all around us. We're trapped. What are we gonna do? What? Zack? No way in hell am I gonna be burned alive. Zack? Oh. Zach. This way. Zach. This way. We can get out through here. Huh? Zach, I know you can smash through here. So I know you got this. Let's do it, Zach. Um. Oh no. Huh? Bad news, Ray. My, uh, my legs are frozen. What? Oh, the flames. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> uh. <gasps> what the hell? What are you doing? It sure is hot and it burns. Freaking obviously. Zack. Zack, listen to me. I'll tell you what you can smash, and I'll find a way for us out of here. It's alright. We'll survive this. I always love this music. I just... <laughs> Move. I got this. 
I mean, all the music in this game is really well done. I love, I love the whole track. <laughs> Pardon me for admiring the music while we're... We might die. <laughs> Darn, Ray. You're really something. Let's go, Zack. <laughs> you got it, Ray. Or, you got it. Let's go, Ray. I'll smash anything in our way. Yeah! Oh boy, okay. <laughs> the basement floors will collapse in five minutes. It's not breakable. What do you- oh! Oh, okay. Zack, this one! Nice! Okay. Huh? What? Oh! I'm- I'm silly. Found it! This one's breakable. Here, right? Next is this one. Alright. Zack! I'm on it. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. We can't go any further with this in the way. Huh? Easy as pie. What? Oh wait. You know what's coming, right? Get ready. Oh! He threw me over. Whoa, that was close. Not again. It's just easier chucking you instead. What's your face all goofy for? Time to move. Eh! The area ahead's buried in debris, but this looks breakable. Nice. Zack, keep it up. Keep the destruction up. Yeah, I got it. Oh, no. The flames. If you watch our step, then we could possibly make it through, but... Hey now, what are you dragging your feet for? If we don't make it out of here fast, we're a barbecue. Zack! Okay. It's dangerous, so let's stay close. Oh god. Oh! Ow! Ow, that was... Oh, it's one of these. Oh, fun. <laughs> we made it. Whoa. The fire hasn't spread here yet. I'll let you know if I find somewhere else that's breakable. Alright. Uh, right here. Here! Zack, break this. Hey, out of the way. Huh? Darn, this one was- This- Ah! Darn, that was a close one. Hang on, Zack. I'll take care of the fire. Knock it off. No need. Yeah. You told me I can break it. Then, there's no way in hell I can't break it, right? Right, Ray? <laughs> oh, gosh. See? You're right. Or you're right. <laughs> yeah. Let's move. Zach, this looks breakable. Careful though, it looks rigid. Huh? How the F do I carefully break something? Alright, just break it how you always do then. Should I keep smashing stuff ahead too? Yeah. So is it... Huh? Is that a B? Zach? This blade cracked. Is it broken? Nah, it should be fine. Let's get the hell out of here. What's that? Okay. I don't think it's anything then. It's breakable. Thanks in advance. Yay! I think we did it! Oh, yay! Zach, we're almost at the end of the stairs. Finally! Yeah, we're almost out. Huh? Shoot. No, please. Oh no. Oh no. It caved in. Hey. Ray. Think I can smash through the debris? Oh, uh. I think so. I got this. So just say the magic word, Ray. Uh. You got this. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. I'm loving this teamwork. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, okay. 
I wasn't sure. I was like, Zach, your scythe. Whoa, she's spent. Oh well, I picked it up around here after all. No worries, I'll just find a replacement when we get out of here. First things first, let's get out of here. Move it. Oh, I should be saving, shouldn't I? Uh, nope, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Solves that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you, game. Good, we made it. Man, this darn building was absolutely effed up to the very end. But still, you did good, Rachel. I couldn't have done it without you. The same. Jeez, is Gray okay? I'm actually kind of concerned. <laughs> the same goes for me. Zach. Yeah? I actually think Danny's okay. I don't... <laughs> I don't know where he is, but I think he's okay. It's the way out. We did it! Now we can finally, finally leave this dump. Zach. Ah, I'm so happy. What? Once we're outside, you'll kill me, right? What, you, what are you asking me that now for? Oh, right. Zach, is that what you want as well? See, my desire to die is unchanged, but... But, if possible, I want you to desire it. I want my death to be desired. Though I long for death, or death, the thought of dying alone suddenly makes me feel so desolate on the inside. Ah, <sighs> the thought of you deeply desiring my death makes me truly happy. Although you did just give me your knife, so I feel like I'm being selfish. I gave you that knife earlier for one reason. So you'd survive long enough for me to kill you. Oh. Till then, I never did a single thing for anyone in my life. No way in hell would I ever swear an oath for something I don't desire. You mean it? Darn it, will you give it a rest? How many times do I gotta say... That you hate liars? Come on, what are you completing my sentences for? When the time comes, make sure you're ready to show me the face I want to see. You suck at smiling more than anyone I know. <laughs> you got it. Ah, it's a, it's a good feeling. <laughs> no! No! Uh, Ray? <gasps> Ray? What the hell? What the- Z Zach? No, 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 no. <gasps> no! Ahahaha. <laughs> oh, how dreadfully terrible. What a horrible mess. <gasps> you You were mm. No way. No. I <laughs> Danny. <sighs> Guess who blew up the building? It's just a matter of time until flames engulf the upstairs. You jerk. Ahaha, <laughs> aren't we hot-blooded despite being unarmed? What a pity. Your promise to each other will go unfulfilled. Zack? Zack? I'm so sorry. I feel like crying right now. <laughs> what the hell for? Hey, snap out of it. I made a promise to you that I couldn't keep. Sorry. Cut the BS! Didn't I tell you I hate liars? Hey, stay with me. I'm not gonna let you go. You're trapped, helpless, and powerless. 
I'm so mad. The best of all, Zach, I won't let you kill Rachel. How does it feel, you guys? How does it feel to have your dream crushed? You're standing up. Oh, I thought you were standing up. I think. I just love to know. Then, after that, how's about we all off ourselves? Shoot. This is not good. Zach, stop lying. Sorry. For frick's sake. Don't make me a liar. I can't let you die on me. No, Zach. It's okay. You were always there for me. Uh, I... But it doesn't need to every time. What are you saying? Ah ha ha, there's nothing more entertaining than a helpless monster. You know what, Danny? I am so... No. He's no monster, but he's no god either. Zack is human. Oh. You're human, Zack. Which is why... Which is why you needn't always devote yourself to me. Human? So what? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You don't seek devotion, Rachel? But I've devoted my all, my everything to you. Don't need it! The food, clothing, toys, even the floor itself was all for you. Yes, I gave you a place to thrive. And now you deny that? I'm sorry, Doctor. But none of, none of that is what I wanted. Ugh. Then what does that give you that's so special? Just some trashy knife? Or was it that ridiculous oath? Hey, it was a serious oath, okay? An oath to ensure your death? Absolute lunacy. Despite the fact I... I tried to spare your life. Doctor, I... I didn't want to live that way. The truth is, I wanted to be desired in life and desired in death, even for a fleeting moment. I realized that as Zack and I made an oath and strove to leave this place, that was enough for me. Then at least show me your despair. After all, I just snatched away your oath. Shut up. Oh, do be quiet. Let me finish. No. Doctor, you haven't snatched it away. This oath, it was sworn by Zack and I. An oath can't be stolen by someone else. Uh... uh even if it's never fulfilled, it doesn't matter, since it's ours. This I know. Wait, I just can't accept that. Zach, oh Rachel, I'll bear this oath. So please don't think of yourself as a liar. Zach, our promise doesn't have to be fulfilled. Mm. Ray. Ray. Ray! No way. Ha <laughs> Oh, and Rachel? If you intend to live the rest of your life with those evasive, distrusting peepers, I thought that it wouldn't matter that we can't live together. Yes, if you would remain in isolation forever, I could die now a happy man. Yet, why do you insist on dis distancing yourself from isolation to the very last? You ruined it, so it's all over. Your desire and Zach's, all of it, everything. I'll put an end to them along with my own desires too. Get away, get away from me. You are a stan- 
standing dog. Mm -mm. I must have missed the hat. <gasps> what are you doing? Gray, thank you. I say, you have taken your indulgence too far. I'm not finished yet. I must take care of them. Thank you, Gray. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Zach, can you still move? You jerk. Say your frickin' prayers. Save your strength for leaving this place. Mind your own beeswax. A human will die from this much blood loss. What's the point of going outside if she dies? Rachel Gardner is still quite alive. Take her outside now and she will be saved. What do you mean? Find out for yourself. Seriously, is this chick immortal or something? The building could collapse at any moment, Zack. Let's go, let's go, Zack. Leave Danny to Gray. Oh, wait. <laughs> Danny collapsed. I was so. Uh... Holy cow, that was intense. <laughs> also, I really like this music. <laughs> oh no, Gray! Ah, this place is no more. Tis an unexpected end to this tale. Would you not say, Daniel? Reverend, why? I admit I was selfish, but yes, it was for your sake too. Still, my actions were not a mistake in the least. It was for my happiness and... My meddling in the matters of those who upset the laws of this, of the building should have benefited you in some way. Oh, Danny, twas helpful indeed. I was able to observe something quite fascinating. I originally believed Zack to be a crystalline winged being. Those wings, however, have faded away. Crystalline wings? Did you truly think of him as an angel? Indeed. He was pure-hearted, and bloodshed was all he had ever known. Nonetheless, the blade Zack wielded for that very purpose came to serve another, and consequently, his blade was broken. Zack has lost his wings, and is now human. Well, tis better to say he was human all along, perhaps. That's merely just a coincidence. What is more intriguing is that the one who showed me that was a child I condemned as a witch, Rachel Gardner. Rachel. Oh, yeah, that's true, he did! It was a radical transformation and quite telling. And she was merely a selfish contradiction, riddled girl. In hindsight, perhaps twas a, twas I who attempted to strip Zack of his humanity. If that is true, then why? Why did you shoot me? My, moder my monitoring and experiment have already run their course. My role as the eyes of God has ended, and this shall serve as my inconsequential, inconsequential atonement. Reverend, after all this, whatever for. Danny, you are the one who brought that girl. Desiring to bestow souls instead of reave them, did you not attempt to become the god of that child? Yet, Danny, you are not a god, and you also knew this, did you not? Oh, I didn't think of that, though. But what else is there for me, then? When I saw Rachel's peepers, they were unloving and full of such despair. I longed to shower those peepers with love for all eternity. It was then that my once insignificant life gained meaning again. I could accomplish anything to make it come true. But I can no longer love those peepers. I mean, if she isn't alone, who will love such an ugly wretch like myself? Oh, Daniel. By showering her with love, you would only desire to someday be loved yourself. No, that's not it. Danny, we are merely human. Ah, uh, it seems humans were the only beings here from the start. 
Yet humans create gods, angels, and even humans themselves. In fact, perhaps that was true for Rachel Gardner. And those who destroy them are human as well. Oh, Reverend. What is it you have seen within the humans here? I think he's seen a lot. <laughs> well, regretfully, what I always see. Blindness, ugliness, and beauty. Nothing more. Ooh. Oh, and Daniel. I feel the same can also be said for you. Ooh. I only realize this now. Despite you stay here being the longest, forgive me. My time is drawn to an end. Now, you choose to call me beautiful? Oh, indeed. Ah, I'm always so conflicted about Danny. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel bad for him, then I don't, then I feel bad. <laughs> I'm just, oh. Hey, hang in there. We're almost outside. Don't go dying on me now. Yeah, let's go. Oh. <gasps> Yay! I think. I almost think. Holy cow. Hey, we're outside. Take her outside and she'll be saved. What do you mean by that? What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, Zach. Hey, wake up. Hey, Ray. Wake up. Are you just going to die on me? For Frick's sake. Open your eyes. Oh. Oh! So when that jerk preacher said she'd be saved, this is what he meant, eh? Well, this place did light up like the 4th of July. So that's how it is, huh? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Ray, don't forget. That I swore an oath to you. I will kill you. I... Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, look, a bird. I think that, yeah, it's a bird. Oh, no, it's not a bird. What? <laughs> That's not a bird. That's people watering. That's people watering, uh, or putting out the fire. I can't talk. My <laughs> There's a bird. All right, I'm just gonna say, I really love this game. I just do. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, that's how it ends. That's cool. Cool to oh my gosh. Date redacted. 
Rachel Gardner, a girl who vanished during questioning regarding the Gardner homicide, was found near a burning building in city redacted, state redacted, and taken into protective custody. Found accompanying her was Isaac Foster, a suspect presumed to be involved in a string of murders which have made head headlines in past years. This time, Foster was charged and arrested for kidnapping, and though he denies these allegations, he has gone on record to admit the murder allegations are partly true. Furthermore, the body of a man was found in the burnt remnants of the building, though authorities are unable to, to identify it. Oh, must be... that must have been Danny then. Date redacted. Authorities are investigating the possible involvement of a new cult in the recent building fire, though an explosion at the time of the fire caused the building's basement to collapse, hampering progress. Furthermore, due to allegations against Isaac Foster as a suspect surfacing in the Gardner homicide, the case, was, or the case has now been reopened. Meanwhile, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel, who denied allegations against Foster for kidnapping, was transferred to a rehab facility. Due to exhibiting signs of mental delirium, she is receiving counseling from a medical specialist. Date redacted. Were the crimes of serial murder and kidnapping Isaac Foster was sentenced to death. No way. I had a... Okay. I... Mm. I partially was thinking that might happen, but I was, I didn't think it actually happened. <laughs> so Rachel, is there anything you feel uneasy about? Oh, a new therapist. Hey. No, not really. So you're sleeping well at night, I take it. Yes. I see. Well then, that should be enough for today. My apologies for being late. I had a session with another child that ran over time. It's fine. I'll take you to your room. I can manage by myself. Now we can't just let you do that, can we? Sorry, but... Okay. Well, okay, I'll just go to my room. Oh my, what a beautiful moon today. Right, Rachel? Isn't it a lovely night? Lovely night. Yes, on days like this, it's best just to hop right into bed. Sweet dreams await you. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Wait, there's no way. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> what is it, Rachel? Nothing. I see. Good. Yeah. This is so different. <laughs> Rachel, are you scared? Huh? Your condition has improved dramatically during your time here. The person who is with you, that killer, you're no longer obsessed with him like you used to be. Uh-oh. So I'll tell you this just to put you at ease. It's sort of against my the rules, but don't tell her. No, I don't know. <laughs> that killer, like, is to be executed. Oh, so he hasn't died yet then. Yay! But I don't want him executed. <laughs> I see. Is that so? Oh, no. Yes, it probably came as quite a shock to you, though now you can sleep with peace of mind tonight. No, that's not really peaceful. Yes. Uh, her eyes, though. Well, let's get going, then. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's... Should not have told her that, alright? But I guess 
she thinks that Rachel was actually, um, they think that he kidnapped her, so. Now behave yourself and go to sleep, all right? Sure. Sure. I'll cry. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. The truth is that my nights were always restless. That's true. And my mind was uneasy. Tonight was supposed to be another sleepless night. Huh? What? Uh, what did she grab? Anyone know? Cause I don't. <laughs> All I could do was shut my eyes. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? What? <gasps> oh my goodness! What? That sound? Is it coming from the window? <gasps> What's that sound? Rachel! It's not someone who works here? Then... What? Rachel, open up! What? Hey, Ra Rachel, what's going on in there? Oh no, I gotta call the police! Get back! Oh. What an entrance, Zach. <laughs> what an entrance. Ta-da! Zach? You escaped? Well, I, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there you go again, making that boring face. Zach, how did... Huh? How did I what? I mean, you're supposed to be in prison. Prisons are made to be broken out of, right? I mean, broke through a ton of debris, too. I mean... <laughs> but, back then, I said I'd bear the outcome of our oath. So what about it? I mean, it's not yours to bear anyhow. Zach, so you still want to kill me? This is me you're talking about here. I never lose sight of some something that I want, right? Oh. Hurry up. There ain't much time left. Or, did you forget? No, Zack. I never forget. Not in a million years. I mean, it's an oath. An oath you and I swore together. Now that's more like it. Hurry, this way. Come with me, Ray. Okay, okay. Ready, everyone push together. Hey, Zach. Please kill me. 
then stop your blubbering. Oh, ha! <laughs> then stop your blubbering and smile. Huh? I feel like I've been taken on a roller coaster. <laughs> You guys were definitely, well, you guys were definitely too late. Okay, I like that. That's a good ending. That's great. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Oh wow, I like that. All the art. Good job to everyone who worked on this game, seriously. I- <laughs> It's so great! Yeah, the script, all the- oh my gosh. Oh, is that the picture for the end? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's the ending- well, that's the last- Oh, uh, well, technically that is, but... And that's his knife there. Okay, I think. At first I couldn't figure out what you grabbed, but then I'm like, I think it is the knife. Oh! Yeah. It's just the window. <laughs> Okay, wow, all right. <laughs> ah, like I said, I really feel like I was taking on an emotional roller coaster this whole time. Also had sympathy for Zach. <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> I'm like, Zach's a killer, but I still have sympathy for him. So if anyone kills him or executes him, I'm gonna feel pretty sad because we've been with him this whole time with Rachel. So it's like I would have. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he, he's still he's still a murderer, but I it's it's bad. But <laughs> um, even with Rachel too. I have so much to say about this game. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Um, I know there's an animated series out. Too, so I'll probably check that out sometime. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of what I wanted to say. Um, in the beginning, the whole time, you're just like, oh, I'm just this girl just going in this place, and then you're being chased by killers, and you meet Zack first. And, you know, it's... I love the game, too, because it just kind of makes you think, like, oh, well... I think Rachel's innocent. I mean, I don't know why, for me anyways, some of you may have caught on that Rachel's not innocent. Um, or if you played the game before and you're watching this, you probably thought, eh. <laughs> But for me anyways, it was really cool because it tricked me into thinking, uh, well, they just, the developers of this game really did a good job into making you think like, okay, well, I don't really know what Rachel did. Why is, why is Gray saying I'm, why is Danny and Gray kind of like, okay, she's not innocent. Like why? I don't get it. But then you find out that, oh no, Rachel is not innocent at all. And she did really awful things too. Yeah, she suffered from trauma and I do feel bad for her, but you know, doesn't, like with Zach, doesn't excuse their actions, but it's, it was, <laughs> I love this game, oh my gosh, like the music, Zach's music is awesome, I think my favorite though, as much as I don't like, as much as I don't like Danny, I feel like his, his theme, uh, the theme that played when he was around was probably my favorite 
Even though I don't really like Danny, I still have sympathy for him, but I, I'm also... I was also mad at him at the very end. I was... <laughs> I was very mad, and then I felt sorry for him again, as you guys know, because I, <laughs> I go back and forth. Um, but the way that it was set up, and then how you find out everything at the end, especially with the TV, finding out, or Zach watching the television, finding out about Rachel, and then Danny, um, Danny's backstory, and even the killers, like... I, I love this game. Oh my gosh. I keep saying it, but I really do. And it just really made, I, I just felt like I was, like I said, I just, it made me feel many emotions. I was, it made me go back and forth. It was just, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, the story was told really well and I loved, even though I didn't, like the killers, I did like, you know, the characters. Or, you know, I liked how they were designed. Like, Kathy looked cool, um, Eddie looked cool, Zach, Danny, etc. <laughs> but no, um, I am going to be looking out, well, I already started actually, but I am going to be looking out more for games by these developers. Or this developer, I think. I think. Yeah, Hoshikuzu, KRN, KRN, I believe that's the developer, um, and everyone who worked on this game, great job, love it, and I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on, uh, this developer, so, oh my gosh, great game, uh, good story, good characters, and really fun to play. I did have me scared to get, I, I'm used to playing... RPG horror game, so at the beginning, I was, I thought, oh no, if I make one of these bad choices, I'm gonna get a bad ending, but no, this game just kinda takes you through as it is, um, and no bad endings, it seems, so, um, well, definitely no bad endings, I think. <laughs> if I died, I just died <laughs> in the game, and, yeah, I think... I think I said everything I wanted to say about this game. <laughs> but thank you everyone for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for um, hanging out with me. So, um, <laughs> oh yeah, the ending. The ending was the one, <laughs> that climatic ending was oh my gosh it was crazy <laughs> but i love the ending and it's a great ending so uh thank you everyone i think that's everything i really wanted to say about this game thank you everyone for watching uh the angels of death playthrough and i will see you in the next video take care